said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. Give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the ring, where the deer and the antelope where seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy you know what they never had picnics after school when i was a kid times have changed since then rick it wasn't that long ago well oh, i'm just glad everyone got some fresh air and some exercise it's a little after five. We should be on our way. Come on, everyone. Let's go. It's time to hit it. Let's go. OK, let's see. Where's Lee? Last time I saw him, he was with Cindy. OK, fine. Where's Cindy? Mr. Mason! Miss Thomas! Mr. Mason! What's wrong? Something's out there. I don't know what. It really frightened us. A big, hairy... Calm down now. What do you think you really saw? I don't know. Maybe... A bear! No, no, it wasn't a bear. It was just too big. Oh, I wish I got a picture of it. Wait a second, maybe it was Bigfoot. Bigfoot? No, oh, Bigfoot. It's supposed to be a large man-like creature that lives in the woods. People report seeing him everywhere. Of course, that's just a legend. Well, it sure describes what we saw. <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Look, Cindy, I don't know what you saw or what you think you saw, but you are right about one thing. We do have to get out of here. So let's load up. Come on. What do you think? A bear? Not in those woods. We're too close to town. Let's go. I'll be right with you. Okay. Lee, follow me back caravan style so nobody gets lost, OK? okay. out here. Why, well, Rick, I wasn't worried. I knew you were close by. Very funny. But you still shouldn't be out here alone. I mean, let's face it, Andrea, you're not Isis. Let's go. Oh. You know what I think we should do? I think we should get a bunch of people together and go and hunt it down. Why? Why? Hey, that thing is dangerous. Why? 
Well, uh, it's big, and we don't know what it is. So it must be dangerous. Too many people think that anything they don't understand is dangerous. That's wrong. If you don't know what something is, you should be cautious, but not afraid, not set out to hunt it down. As far as we know, Bigfoot is only a fable, just like vampires and ghosts. So let's not have any more idle talk about it, okay? Ah, Bigfoot! Bigfoot! Oh, Tut, not you too. Thank you, Dr. Barnes. Andrea, keep that bird after school. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, uh, Lee and Cindy, uh, how's it going? Seen any Bigfoots lately? Or is it Big Feet? That... <laughs> Admittedly, you've been putting us on, haven't you? You don't believe us. Okay, smart guy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back up to that mountain and I'm gonna get a picture of Bigfoot. Sure you are. Look, if you don't believe me, why don't you come with me? Are you too scared? You got a deal. Good, we'll get we'll get Ray, Riley, Ralph. Hey, wait a minute. What makes you think Bigfoot will want to have its picture taken? Look, it's not gonna attack all of us. All of us? What do you mean us? I'm not going. Okay, it's your choice, but we're gonna be famous. That's fine. You be famous. I'll be cautious. Look, school's over, so why don't we go now? Why not? Well, Bigfoot, here we come. by Kipling is one of my favorite poems. Andrea? Dr. Barnes? Dr. Barnes! Dr. Barnes! <laughs> and hello to you, Tet. Andrea, here are the test papers I asked you to look at. Thank you. You know, Dr. Barnes, you made quite an impression on my class when you said that Bigfoot was a fable. I wonder. Oh, Andrea. I never said that Bigfoot was a fable. I said, as far as we know, it's a fable. I wanted to stop all these rumors before everyone in school was afraid to go on a picnic. But I never said that I didn't believe in Bigfoot. Of course, I never said that I did believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot! Bigfoot! Well, now what? Well, let's go up there. Oh, I'm glad to see you studying for the exam. I did that in study hall. I got this book from the library. It's about Bigfoot. Oh, really? It says Bigfoot's been seen in California. Oh, not only California. Every state in the United States. In Canada, they call him Wendango. And the Indians call him Sasquatch. Bigfoot certainly gets around. That's true. He could be out there in those woods. See you later, Cindy. You ask me, it's been a wild goose chase. Well, we might as well all go home. It's almost time for dinner anyway. We'll try this again some other time, okay? Let's go, guys. Listen, I'm gonna uh, stick around and take some pictures. Careful. It looks like your Bigfoot has uh, packed up and left these parts. <laughs> You're a riot, Mickey.
Cindy. I'm really worried about Mickey and Lee and the others. What about them? They went up to the mountains to get a picture of Bigfoot. How long ago, Cindy? Hours ago. They should have been back by now. All right. I'll check with their parents and notify the police. Excuse me. I'll go ahead and start looking for them. Why don't you catch up with Rick and tell him I'll meet him at the junction of Highway 5 at 3 o'clock. Right. My ankle feels much better. Do you live here alone? Look, I didn't thank you for your help. Thanks. say we should try to find a road and go for help. How are we going to find Lee if we don't know where we are? Isis! Wow! Hello, fellas. Hi. Hi. Where's Lee? We were near a cliff when we got separated. All right. Come on, I'll take you back to the road and then I'll look for Lee. Let's go. Do people bother you? Don't you like to talk to people? People say I'm big and ugly. So I live in the woods. If you don't like people, why did you help me? I don't like to see anything hurt. Not a deer, not a squirrel. Or a boy. Look, I, I won't tell anybody if you don't want me to, but somebody's gonna see you, you know. It, it's hard to live away from people. I can't live with people. I never could. Oh, my camera. Where are you going? I lost my camera over that cliff. I gotta go find my friends and hunt for it. Listen, uh, thanks. I won't tell anybody if, if, if that's the way you want it, but I gotta go. That cliff's dangerous. I'll go with you. Oh, seven winds which blow on high, look at me now so I can fly.
climb and heed this charm. Entwine that man and keep from harm. Thank you for saving me, but who are you? My name is Isis, but yours, I'm sure, is not Bigfoot. My name is Richard. Richard, that means strength. Would you like to come back with us? I'm afraid. People just don't understand me. I know. Sometimes people are very cool to those who seem different. But it's worth giving them a chance. Why don't you think it over? We'd like to come back and visit you. I'd like that. <sighs> Thank you. Soon. Soon. Let's go. Well, then what happened to Isis? Well, she showed me the way back to the road and said goodbye. I am sure glad she was around. Where have you been? What do you mean, where have I been? Where have you? Highway 5. Oh, I'm sorry, Andrea, and all the excitement I forgot. Lee found Bigfoot. Only it wasn't really Bigfoot. It was this guy named Richard. And then I dropped my camera over this cliff, and then Isis well, you had to be there. Well, may I suggest that we all go home and have dinner? Great idea. Later. Bye. Bye-bye. You know, I have to tell you, that Isis can do almost anything. But if she ever does need any help... I'm sure she'll call on you. Well, what I meant was, it just seems that I'm always around when she... Come to think of it, Andrea, it seems that you're never around when Isis is. Oh, you miss all the excitement. Seems that way, Rick. Well, I'll see you. Yes, Rick. You'll be seeing me.
There's a well-known proverb that says, you can't judge a book by its cover. What that means is that you can't tell what something is like just by the way it looks. That's especially true of people. So whether they be tall or short, thin or fat, remember, it's the way a person acts, not the way he looks. That is what counts. See you next week.